Hi, I'm Jonathan M0JSX. If you've bought a mobile radio, mobile VHF UHF radio in the last 15, 20 years, or maybe even longer than that, then there's probably a feature on your radio called crossband repeat. And today we're gonna to have a quick look at what is it and why you might use it. So let's just take a step back and just briefly talk about what a repeater is, which I'm sure we all know, but just in case, uh, a repeater, it repeats essentially. So if we imagine we've got a mountain and we put a repeater at the top of it and we have one guy down here and another guy down here who aren't, can't communicate using their little handheld radios. That's a, obviously a very accurate uh, drawing of a handheld radio. They can't communicate to each other because of the, the mountain in the way. We have this repeater up here. They're usually in band. Let's just say this repeater has an output frequency. So it, tr it transmits on 145, 600, and it receives on 145 dead. That's megahertz, obviously. Uh, so each person down here, if they transmit on 145 megahertz dead and listen on 145.6, they're able to communicate with each other via this repeater up here. We have repeaters for the two meter band, we have repeaters for the 70 centimeter band, and uh, here in the UK at least, we also have some repeaters on six meters and a couple on 10 meters as well. And they provide a larger coverage than just you might be able to do with either your handheld or maybe even your, your uh, home station if you're not particularly well sighted. I'm not particularly well sighted here. So that's what a traditional repeater is. The problem with this though, is because here we're only looking at 600 kilohertz of separation, we need to use something called a cavity filter in order to make sure that our transmitter doesn't interfere with our receiver. Now a cavity filter is expensive, quite big, and also quite delicate in the fact that you have to tune the filter in situ you because the moving it can affect its tuning so you have to take it to site tune it in situ and then leave it and if you move it you will then have to check it and make sure it's still okay which is a bit of a faff so what is a crossband repeater well let's pull up a new sheet so a crossband repeater in my head i always think as being something a bit more temporary uh, than a full-blown repeater system, but is no less useful. So let's draw again our mountain and let's draw our repeater at the top. So in this situation, rather than it being a permanent installation, we've done something temporary. We've put up a temporary mast with a, a dual band collinear at the top of it. And we've plugged in at the bottom our, let's just say FT8900, which is a radio that I have. And I've used the crossband repeater in. Uh, but instead of being in band, we're going to cross band. But unlike with a traditional repeater where you have a set input frequency and a set output frequency, a cross band repeater is two directional. So we could have one side of our repeater on, let's just say, 145.250 megahertz. And we could have the other side of our cross band repeater at 433. 0 0.750 megahertz. I've often used these when doing things like community events and hikes and uh, things like that, where we need to get to communication between a couple of sites, but there's an obstruction in the way. Uh, so let's just say that down here, uh, we have our, our net control station, uh, who is uh, based at um, wherever the hike is being run from. And over here, we have a, a checkpoint and we need to get communication between the two. Now, what we could do is say that uh, between the crossband repeater and uh, the net control station, uh, we're going to put this particular link on the 70 centimeter band. And uh, on this, we are going to put this on the two meter band. And the crucial thing is that at each end, these stations operating their radios in a simplex mode. They're not having to worry about having to do any shifts or anything like that because it doesn't, it's not needed. Another use for a crossband repeater might be that uh, maybe your 
let's say, checkpoint down here and you're trying to talk to a net control station, uh, you can't have communications from your handheld, but your mobile antenna on your car is doing a pretty reasonable job. So instead of tying yourself to the car and the radio in the car, you could put that radio into crossband repeat mode and then wander around the checkpoint and chat to all of the people coming to the checkpoint as well uh, by just carrying your handheld around and using 70 cents between your handheld and your car and then two meters from your car back to whoever you're communicating with. Another classic example of where a crossband repeat is really useful. And now for a bit of a story. Um, there was an occasion where we were assisting in a, uh, a hike um, around, uh, around the Reading area. And the hike's next control station was one end of, um, of the course. And the rest of the course was very up and down. There was lots of hills in the way between lots of different checkpoints. So we ended up putting in three crossband repeaters uh, in order to get reliable communications across the entire course, which meant we had uh, one frequency, it was actually on the four meter band that we used, uh, one frequency on the four meter band and three frequencies on the two meter band uh, in order so that when uh, an operator got to a checkpoint, they could put up a two meter antenna with a two meter radio and try and call the net control station one of three frequencies and they would just use whichever was the strongest uh, because the three repeater stations could hear each other and they all shared a common four meter frequency uh, and then the two meter side was all different. So another interesting, if quite niche example of where a cross band repeater could come in really useful. I'd like to know from you down below, where have you used a cross band repeater? Um, did you even know that your radio had it in it? I say most radios made in the last 20 years either have it as standard or, or you might need to do a small modification to your radio in order to enable it. Uh, but it's a really useful feature that I've used on many occasions. So really interesting to know, when have you found a use for a crossband repeater? Uh, thanks very much for watching. If you've liked this video, there's a button specifically for that. Uh, if you haven't, there's another button that seems to work just fine too. And if you haven't already done so, please do click on that subscribe button and press that notification icon and you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. There's another video coming up over here that the algorithm thinks that you might like next. Until next time. 73. Bye-bye.